give her a uh, give her fake vomit like like the do the uh, uh, so hard that you almost do yeah <laughs> yep I've done that I see you two are a man of culture <laughs> <laughs> And we're back, everybody. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, man. We're just here playing Kingdom Hot. Oh, come oh. show you to my grotto. But, Ariel, is this how you're going to get back at your dad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. See? Next to... Oh, no. Whoa. Dolphins also have the side fin. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did we do? Dolphin, let go. No, we did it wrong. Dolphin, let go. What is going on? I don't... I don't know. What was the was, point of that? I don't... Know. Whoa, it's like a mothership. Whoa, it's huge. Yeah. I'm, I'm so confused here now. Me too. You know what? Now, now that we've uh, established that... Um, wow. So now that we've established oh, that dolphins in the also guys. have like the vertical fin... Well, let's let's and look so it up real quick. Well, then that's what I was gonna do. So I googled the word shark. Okay. And the top thing that shows up instantly is the Shark Ion Flex Dual Clean X2 Vacuum Cleaner. Whoa, Jesus, that sounds intense as fuck. Not even like an actual fucking shark. No, yeah. a friggin' uh, whatever. <laughs> you know what? Oops. I'm I am. I'm fucking done with this shit. No, you know so what? sharks also have vertical, uh, <clears throat> I got, I got phlegm in my throat. Okay, <clears throat> so sharks do have the vertical fin, the yes, vertical tail. Just well, look, like a dolphin. Well, no, 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 look up dolphins. I think, I think that is, I think the game was wrong just now. I, I, I believe dolphins do have the... Nope, you are absolutely right. It is that that is a wrong, incorrect drawing of a, or a rendering of a dolphin. Incorrect drawing. Maybe it's a shark thing. Maybe it is a shark. Maybe I mean, it's, it's got a... the dolphin face. Yeah, it definitely has a bottlenose face. So my nose is a bottle. It's cause I can't handle the reality of life, and I no longer want to live. So it hits the bottle. Huh? Ow! Fucking stop hitting me! Wow, Steve, that was uh, stop. that was a journey. It was good. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, you, you didn't get Never. the fatty orb. Never stop believing. Never stop, stop nevering. Never ever stop the never ever stopping. Never, 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 ever, never. Beat him up. Fuck. I mean, never mind. Not dolphin. How did no one bug that? I don't know because people don't know. Like, what? What are you gonna do? Like, do you do you sit there and say, "Hey, Steve, check it out. Here's the new dolphin asset," and you're just like, "Cool," and then you check it. And then you check like it's normals, and you check the vertices, and then you check like you know your other fucking different like uh, texture maps on it, and then you're just like, I see no problem here. I didn't get a QA Whoa. test request for an anatomical correct check of a dolphin. Well, you should at least be like, hey, yo, dog, dolphin tails don't go this way. Not Which is everybody weird. knows that, but it's weird because they did it right on Sora. Yeah, yes. So and they, they did it right they, on Ariel. Somebody obviously knows how dolphin tails work. Maybe that person who made the Sora body wasn't the one who uh, was also working on the dolphin body. And by the time that the dolphin asset came in, the guy who was working on the dolphin Sora left the company. Maybe. His last Just saying. But you are right. Uh, it is it is a little strange because you think that they would have had like. You would have think you you would have think you would have thinked you would have thunk that uh, Ariel, you're 16. You are a little girl. Seriously, this isn't Japan. <laughs> this is America. You're a little girl. Even though this game was made in Japan, was this game made in Japan? Yeah, yeah, it was made in Japan. It's it's, squ it's Squeenix. Squeenix. Isn't that like the the keyhole right there? I don't think so. Pretty huh. sure the keyhole is like actually under his throne. His throne, yeah. <gasps> Must steal your treasure, Ariel. And she's like, "Wait, that's oh, mine." Yeah, it's more poo. Or it might be Eeyore. And Eeyore's like, "I was almost gone. <laughs> Why almost did you say me? It's the what I was wanted to run. And here you go, ruining everything. 
You know what Eeyore is in the Winnie the Pooh universe? Depression? I mean, yeah, but I was just gonna say it's life in general. Like he is he is what happens when life gets through with you. Yeah, he is depression. Yes. What what is what is Pooh supposed to be? He's supposed to be uh, like lethargy or No, I think he's obsession actually. Obsession? Because he's obsessed with honey. Alright, you know what? We're gonna look it up. We're gonna look it up. But yeah, if people were not aware, each of the Um Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh characters corresponds to like a human disorder. Wait, then what's owl? Um, I don't know. Compulsive oh, lying. Oh yeah. Ego. Freaking uh, Jim Cummings is the voice of Winnie the Pooh. Nice. I love that man. Ah, right, here we go. All Winnie the Pooh characters represent mental disorder, Ill illness. Okay. All right. Pooh struggles with ADHD. Really? Well, I mean, obviously he does, but that does not mean that he represents like the face of ADHD. Right. But these uh, are all supposed to be like disorders that oh God, potentially yeah. Christopher Robin actually suffers. Okay, that was uh, that was a terrible one because that one like um, that was just talking about like the different medications that they should technically be on. Like it was like Piglet should be on Prozac, and it's like no, that's not what I asked. Oh no. All right. Oh no. <clears throat> so Christopher Robin. Johnson. Christopher Robin suffers, or uh, is supposed to be representative of schizophrenia. It's okay. believed that all the characters in the Winnie the Pooh are the manifestations of his mood. Okay, that makes sense. I love Ursula. I know it's 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 weird to like love a villain, Jesus. but I love her. She's like so fabulous, like. She just embraces who she is, and she's just like, whatever, don't give a fuck, I am who I am. Well, I think if you have a good villain, then it's, then like, you know, you can, you oh, can really it, love it, them for that, you know? Like, like, Hook is another lovable villain, in my opinion. Like, I, I think Hook is interesting because he's very much the type of person who, like, just like, I think we talked about this in an episode, like, a few, ba a few back, but like you were saying, it's like, he, to a oh. degree, can be considered the hero. Hey. Question mark. Okay. And there's nothing. Oh. What? What? Fire. No. Is that not what you wanted? No. Nope. Damn it. What, I thought it, maybe it, it corresponded to the color of their hat. Uh, there's some secret to them. I don't remember their secret, but there is some secret to them. Okay. Um. But yeah, like, uh, Hook is like actually the good guy because he's the guy who's like trying to say like he's like he, he's not trying to run away from his problems he's not trying to stay a child forever he's trying to actually force peter to grow up in a way right yeah and like he's actually trying to help like the children like and you can almost think of it like like he's representative of like like a healthcare professional in many ways because yeah like, he, he he's trying to force them to face the reality of life and so they look at him as a villain and like because he's constantly taking away the different lost boys to like bring them to therapy to like help them with their problems like he's considered a pirate because he's like stealing them away he's taking their things right yeah he's trying to take away like their their um i guess you can call them like childhood obsessions or like their um i, if I can use sonic blade underwater uh, and, and, and the stuff like that. But anyways, uh, so, like you said, Winnie the Pooh suffers from impulsivity with obsession, fixa obsessive fixations. Okay. So, like, ADD, ADHD and or an OCD. Right, yeah. Yep, Pooh is obsessed with honey and often goes to great lengths, goes through great lengths to get it. Um... Piglet is generalized anxiety disorder. Yep, absolutely. Because he's a warrior and he ex exhibits classic signs of general anxiety disorder or GAD. And it is believed that the anxiety stems from a crippled self-esteem. God damn. Huh. That so actually I'm makes a Piglet. A, that makes a lot of sense. Not nope. you, Piglet. <laughs> Piglet makes a lot yes. of sense. I know what you meant, but it was just funny. <laughs> Um, 
Huh. I honestly... <laughs> I honestly never put that much thought into these characters, obviously. Oh, really? Yeah, like, like I loved Winnie the Pooh as a kid. Like, it was just, like, a heartwarming tale of a kid who had, like... Yeah, no, it's Imaginary a real friends, fucked up tale. And it's really fucking dark now that, like, I'm yep. reading these. Like, um, Owl suffers from dyslexia. Owl really? may be the most intelligent of all the characters, but he still struggles with his spelling. Huh. That often, one I never caught. Often words are spelt wrong, letters are missing, swapped around, or even written oh, back to Interesting. Yeah, you're right. Uh. Huh. Yeah, it... This, this is super interesting, actually, to re read now. Yeah. Kind of makes you wonder, like, what was the purpose of writing the characters that way, you well, know? So like, like, it's very intentional that they wanted to do that, but maybe maybe part of it's like, hey, these these disorders really exist, and by making these characters like this, this is a way I can kind of teach kids to not be afraid of this. Well, I, I think it's I think it's a, it's a matter of, like, uh, I think you're right. It's a level of, like, just acceptance. Like, yeah. hey, there are going to be people out there who are like, oh, there are going to be people out there like Piglet. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, right. You accept them for who they are. Because that's also one of the things that, like, Christopher Robin does throughout all the episodes. Like, well, yeah, some people yeah. say that he might have, like, uh, schizophrenia, but one of the things that he does is he helps out Pooh with his problems. Right. He helps Owl with his problems. He comforts Piglet, and he sits there and he accepts them. Like even to sit there and say, "Oh, silly bear." Yeah, you're right. Like he, he's he's like he's it's like I almost feel like there's like a s suggestive nature to it. Like I guess suggestive is a very but you're right, yeah, it definitely has a level of, like, acceptance to it. Exactly, and I, I like that idea. Uh, Tigger has ADHD, obviously. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kanga suffers from social anxiety disorder. Really? Her overprotectiveness of her son, Rue, and the way she never lets Rue make his own decisions indicates her exaggerated fear for Rue's safety. is interesting. Uh, Rue suffers from autism spectrum disorder. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know what autism spectrum disorder is. I think it's I, just... I think it just means that... On the like spectrum. On the, he is on the spectrum. Yeah, he yeah. is He is someplace on the spectrum. Uh, because he is unaware of, his, of danger in his surroundings and mm. has an attachment to sitting in his mother's pouch. Interesting. So he doesn't realize the danger that's around him, but he's also like extremely attached to his mother to the point where he can't like like he prefers to stay with her rather than separate right yeah. unless he's with people he's comfortable with like he'll go out with you know who oh no but even when he is with people he's comfortable with he still like freaks out worrying about his mother yeah and he's still like when he's hanging out with tigger and whatnot we see that level of like he doesn't really register the dangers of that. Yeah, because, like, Tigger does some really dangerous yep. things. Huh. Uh, Rabbit suffers from OCD. Okay. He's yep. obsessed with keeping everything organized and is often portrayed when he is gardening. Yep. And you are absolutely right. Eeyore suffers from depression oh, yeah, disorder. Oh, that one, yeah, that one's pretty That one's pretty obvious. Yeah. Wow, that, that is super interesting uh i would have never thought of that like i would have never looked at this wow but yeah i i really think that like even though this makes a lot of sense and like it points out some really interesting things i still think that to a degree like it, it's like we're a dolphin well maybe you know Christopher uh, Robbins is correct in the fact that he suffers from like schizophrenia or whatnot. Um, I also feel like he's still the, like the accepting character that like teaches children or teaches the audience like, hey, these people are normal people. They're right. Like, hey, it's this just, is okay. They need a little bit of help from everybody else. Yeah, because just like everything. Oh man. Ariel can wreck wow, some shit, Wow, she does beat him badly. Yeah. Um, uh, would you mind 
taking a look to see uh, if you can remember where we go next. Uh, I actually have no clue. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, figured it out. Okay. Um, so what are we doing? What? Uh, you need to find a ship with broken hull. Okay. So Let's say where to go to find that. Yes. Um. So we saw the. We saw the grotto. We saw. We saw the 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 gold the trident head shaped emblem on the base shelf. And Ariel suggests looking for the keyhole. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. In that cutscene. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Then we got the torn page. And Cottage. Yep. Now head back out as Flotsam and Jetsam appear. In fact, this leads up to the next cutscene where Ursula looks for the progress of Sora and the party. Uh, yep, yep. Get that. It is coming. Now you'll have to be back in control. Uh, head straight ahead to a calm that contains that. Head to the undersea valley. Defeat all the heartless in the area. Then look for the dolphin here and grab onto it, and it'll take you over to the calm depths. Okay. And then to the entrance of the the uh, sunken ship. Okay, so that's what we're. So that's why the dolphin's here. He's supposed yeah. to take us to that spot. Okay. Which is interesting because um, what was it? There was a theory that recently popped up, and by recently I mean like when Tangled came out. Oh. No, I no, not Tangled. Uh, Frozen. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so there was like a theory about how like. Uh, well, first off, uh, the characters from Tangled are related to the characters from Frozen, like through like royalty or some type of like trade bomb. But they're basically both in the same universe, yeah. And they're both um, Where's related the in some way. Uh, you get to go back that way, yeah. So go up a little. I don't know if this is the Calm Depths, though, because the Calm Depths didn't have, like, a large open area, and then, like, I don't know. Uh, but, well, let's, um, let's move on, then. Let's see if maybe... Uh, and then... Uh, see Cave? I think that's right. Turn around again, see what the, the name of the map zone is that you were about to... that we just came from. Uh, that's Gorge. Undersea Gorge. Gorge. Uh, either way, but I like, apparently um, try this way. Uh, this is the undersea garden. This is uh, there's there's something in here that you can find. Like I think it's a chest. There we go. Uh, where? Yeah, Anna and Anna, or uh, Elsa and Anna, Anna and Anna. What the hell? Uh, are related to uh, the characters from Tangled. So there's a slight, and then, slightly different theory than that. What I, the one I've heard. Oh, and then but I was going to say continue. that uh, the reason why Elsa and Anna's parents died was because there was a huge storm at sea, which crashed a boat, which is the boat that Ariel explores in right. the movie. Yeah. Uh, so the other theory... Oh, here's the context. Yeah. Um... Is uh, and it kind of changes the dynamic of the movie a little bit. Uh -huh. But Anna and Elsa aren't actually blood sisters. You think they're like half so? Sisters? The thing that people point out is that so while Elsa shares a lot of characteristics with her parents, uh -huh. Anna does not. Uh -huh. She has different hair colors. A lot of her characters are very different, but they're very similar to um. What's her name? Uh, Wait, no, this is Undersea Valley. <clears throat> is that where it's supposed to be? Undersea Valley? Yeah, there's the dolphin. Yeah, see, now we go to the dolphin, and then we grab onto <sighs> it. We gotta kill everything yeah. first. Um, and that's why the parents were going to be... Uh, what's it called? The wedding, because they are, like, related in some capacity, right? Like, the... 
Anna is actually like maybe a you know adopted or something like that from uh -huh. the king queen of wherever Rapunzel's from. Like what? What is it? It's like one of those things like old royalty used to do is they would like between different royal lineages they would like Jesus they would have like a, a consort like one of the yeah like, the king would have like a, a white like a queen and then he would also have like a consort on the side who would also bear him a child yeah. But would also be of like noble or royal birth, right? It's kind of like a, a one of those like we unite the kingdoms this way, exactly. And like depending upon who's the more powerful kingdom, like it's like, oh, we're allying ourselves with you oh by God, making your daughter our there? queen, and then it's like, oh, we're also allying ourselves with you by marrying off your why well, by not marrying off your daughter, but having your daughter bear the child of our king just in case, right? Yeah. So, that, that, that's kind of an interesting theory, and it does definitely change, like, some of the dynamics. But, I mean, like, in my opinion, they're still sisters. Like, right. I mean, sure, they're not blood sisters, but, like, still family. Now, so. here's my feelings on that. Uh-huh. Knowing, like, you know, kind of game development and that kind of stuff, reality is, while it's an interesting theory, Yeah. Uh, I don't think I don't think there's any. There's no there's no validity to yeah. it. Yeah, like you, you like. <laughs> I almost feel like it's like one 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 person created the character for Anna, and then another person created the character for Elsa. Yeah, and then they were like, oh, we have to have like unifying features to some degree. Right, and, and well, it's also a scenario of like they just want to look different so that it's easy to tell apart. Oh, of course, like it just right. it just Let's looks go. better that way. Where are we going, buddy? Where are you taking me? Just taking you. Where are we going? Giant circle. We're going places. We're going places, Tom. Oh, I think he swims against like the current. Yep, yeah, that's it. All right. So he takes you down there. I like uh, that Ariel like wasn't even really holding on to him. She just like had her hand. I was like, I could, I can do this all day. Whoa, Jesus Christ! What? The fucking dolphin came out of the blackness. He's just coming to say hi. The sunken shit. Also, that is the most tiniest ship ever shark it's like that that is a ship that could be that could be run by a crew of like six. Oh, oh god oh i'm a shark it's bruce i was going to fish our friends but so was not <laughs> Ooh, this shape reminds me of something it reminds me of a butt plug oh god a painful one it's a Pain, it's a painful memory. Pain, pain, pain in the butt. Are you done? I don't know. Am I ever really done? No. No, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. whoa, whoa. Can't you destroy those barrels back there? Yeah. Yeah, like, see, yeah. Like, break those barrels up, and there looks like a spot that you can swim down. Or you can just swim down like that. Yeah, see, look. It looks like that you can go under there. Oh. Sneaky There's a exit. treasure chest. Sneaky exit. Sneaky, sneaky. Maybe I can flee the shark this way. Yeah, or maybe you just get. I don't remember door. if you actually fight the shark, just flee him. I don't know. But I believe you that... can exit out the side there. Yeah. You Unless have of lots course... of you have lots of exit options. Outside, outside the, the ship. ship. Oh my god! Huh? I hated that music. Dude, that music scared the ever living. What is it? You gotta go around to the other side. What are you? Now you gotta go down a little bit, yeah. yeah. And then, boom. What is that thing? Shoot it with magic? Deep freeze! Mm, thunder? Thunder! Fire? Fire! Basically everything? <laughs> if only I could reach it. Do we have, like, uh, a spell that, like... No, we don't have anything that draws things to us, do we? No. It looks like a like an emerald to me, actually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Maybe know we have to this. convince Bruce into smashing into that thing. Maybe. Oh, that looks like, uh, this, whatchamacallit. This is gonna move. Maybe, maybe by doing the thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There he is. He's a little oh, big he's shark. such a happy music. 
Even though you're fighting a giant, ugly, or like scary ass shark. Oh, he just tail slapped you, man. Yeah. You gonna take that? Probably. Oh, okay. I, oh man, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite Disney movie is. It's like, I love The Little Mermaid. Yeah. But I also, like, oddly enough, I love, uh, what is it called? The Princess and the Frog. Interesting. Yeah. I, I, like, I love that movie. Like, like, obviously the movie is nowhere near as, like, like, a lot of people don't like it as much as other Disney. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that camera right there. Clipping through collision. But you can't let, like... Um, I love that, yeah, that yeah, movie yeah, because, sure. like, it's Ooh, so, it's like... Like, it feels good for its time period. Yeah. Like, it's well done. Also, uh, Dr. Ooh. Falsifer. Like... Wait. Oh, bye, Ariel. Bye, Ariel. Wee. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, and a giant treasure chest is up for you now. What's inside? Orichalium. Yeah. What is an orichalium? It's, it's like it's an alchemical super metal. Sweet. Love it. I mean, love it. Love it. Stuff. Thanks. Stop um, our thangs. But oh shit! All right, I'll go. I'll go. I'll continue my thought later. Oh shit! I put it in the thing. I put it in the thing. I put my trident in her hole. It's technically her recess, Ariel, not really a hole. You disobeyed me again. No, I mean, yeah, we're just here. To leave the palace. Well, I mean, he did say that. Okay, that's true. Uh oh. Daddy, no! Wow. What a dick. Could you? I mean, first you destroy her statue of her boyfriend, and now you destroy a crystal trident? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Whoa. And you must be the key bearer. Whoa. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh... As There's the key a difference. Bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. <laughs> I like how the camera the like zoomed in on yeah. Goofy and it was just like, nope, <laughs> we made a mistake. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your the key. Just... Yes. Mm. Just kind of materialized in his hand. Is it? I believe this is the first time that anybody has like recognized the fact that he is a key bearer. Yeah. Interesting too that uh, Triton has so much knowledge of it too. I I want to say it's because he's a king. Like, yeah, I think it's so. The knowledge, like uh, of the different kings, he's one of them who knows what it means to be a key bearer and what it means to have a key in their world. Right. Which is. Kind of interesting when you think about it, because like the queen of Alice in Wonderland knew nothing of it. Well, she was also insane. Oh no, she was batty beyond belief. Uh, but still, you would think that she would know something of it, right? Right. So. You cold, my dear. I don't think she did. You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if. It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Oh, Let me so guess. Much. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. Uh-oh. Jesus. Um, but, like, I love the Princess Bride. But the Princess Bride. 
the princess and the frog. Yeah. Like I love the music in that that, that, that entire movie. Does have some fantastic music. Like I love everything about like her different musical numbers. I love how she's like her her songs are all about her like helping her family, like becoming like rich and working hard so that way her mother doesn't have to keep doing it. Yeah. Like I love that about the movie. And also like Dr. Calcifer, Dr. Falcifer, whatever you want to call him. Uh, isn't it he is. Dr. Faust? No, it's it's Falcifer or something like that. Maybe. Um either way, he's I know it's Keith, a play on Faust though. He's Keith David. Yeah. Yeah he is. He has a fucking phenomenal voice. Oh, and, and he has friends like, from the other side. Like best oh. friggin' song in like I, I almost want to say like it's the best song in the entire Disney lineup for like a villain song. Uh, I cannot agree on that. Oh, yeah? But I will agree that it's probably in the top five. Okay, what is your favorite villain song? Well, Hellfire. Like you can't beat that. Ah. Uh, like you can't beat Hellfire. I do. Like, it's almost not even fair. I love it. I love Hellfire. Don't get me wrong. But the reason why I feel like like friends from the other side kind of edges it out in my opinion. Okay. I just love like that um, Louisiana, New Orleans, like jazz kind of. Mm -hmm. feel to it sure i just love the jazzy feel like don't get me wrong i love like the very gothic very um if you can take me there uh, without your daddy. I, I don't know if like roman catholic is the correct word or, or but basically like the very like gothic feel of the song for it right yeah like, it's just really good uh and it's also very like appropriate for um uh the hunchback yeah. Like, given its time period and everything. Oh, man, it's just so good. But we need to close this out because we are at our time. Okay. And so when we get back, everybody, we will be at the throne room. Woo! Bye, everyone. Bye.